Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss what molecular diagrams are, how are they formed, and then we will also see a molecular diagram of C2 molecule. Now in last few videos, we saw what atomic orbitals are with some examples. And when we talk about orbitals, we should keep in mind that they are not something physical. They are just the spaces or we can say regions where the probability of finding the electrons is high. Now these diagrams are just a mathematical construction for the sake of our understanding about how electrons behave in atoms and molecules. So what happens when two distinct atomic orbitals of distinct atoms combines and form a molecule? Now that is when molecular orbitals are formed. Now when we deal with molecular orbitals, we talk about the possible ways in which atomic orbitals can combine. So there are two ways in which it is possible for two atomic orbitals to combine. One is where they overlap and their amplitudes add and they form a stable constructive overlap having lower energy and this way a bonding molecular orbital is produced. And the other way is when they combine destructively where the probability of finding the electron reduces and a node is formed and orbitals thus formed are called antibonding molecular orbitals. Say for example, in hydrogen molecule, each hydrogen atom has one S orbital. So when two hydrogen atoms combine, or you can say when they bond, two molecular orbitals will be formed. One will be bonding and the other will be antibonding molecular orbital. This line right here is called a bond axis, which is an imaginary line that connects two nuclei of atoms that have bonded with each other to form a molecule. Now when the molecular orbitals are symmetrical about the axis here, a sigma molecular orbital is formed. This will be and there will be two types. One is sigma and the other is sigma star. Sigma bond will be formed where is, when there is constructive overlap of atomic orbitals. And sigma star will be formed where there is destructive overlap of atomic orbitals. The other type of bond that is pi bond. Now this, this type of bond is formed when the atomic orbitals combine and the electron density is above and below the bond axis instead of along the bond axis that we saw in sigma bond. Similarly, here we will have two types, pi and pi star, based on the way the atomic orbitals combine. So this is what atomic orbital diagram of single carbon atom looks like. Now when two carbon atoms combine to form C2 molecule, these orbitals here will combine and form molecular orbitals. 1s will combine and form sigma 1s and sigma 1s star. 2s will combine and form sigma 2s and sigma 2s star. 2px will combine and form sigma 2px and sigma 2px star. Similarly, pi 2py and pi 2py star and pi 2pz and pi 2pz star will be formed. Now this is what arrangement of molecular orbitals will look like. These are the atomic orbitals of carbon which combines to form molecular orbital of C2. Now each carbon atom has 6 electrons so let us put them in the atomic orbital first. This gives us total of 12 electrons that we will have to arrange in the molecular orbitals. Now according to Aufbau's principle we will start arranging electrons based on the energy level of orbitals. So the first two electrons will go in sigma 1s with opposite spin as it has the least energy then next two will go in sigma 1s star, then in sigma 2s and sigma 2s star. We are left with six more electrons and based on the on energy values of orbitals, next electrons will go in pi 2py and pi 2pz. So there you have it. This is a molecular diagram of C2. For more such videos, make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.